Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I'm sure you remember the now infamous update that Microsoft rolled out for Windows 10 earlier this year, back in January, which was an update that was failing to install, which was resulting in the error 0x8007064 and this is the update I'm sure you'll remember, KB5034441, which rolled out on the 9th, 10th of Jan, depending on your region. Now, I have posted a whole playlist on this update, which will be linked in the end screen of this video um, if you'd like some more information. But basically, just to recap quickly in a nutshell, um, the update was failing to install, as, as mentioned, and was actually causing more problems than it was actually trying to resolve. And... The, the last video I posted on this update was that the update will be offered under the following conditions and I'll leave that video link down below and in the end screen um, because it will also give you a little bit more information. Now just to let you know that finally, a good couple of months later, Microsoft now has finally retired and pulled KB5034441, which I think is good news. Uh, because this update was reappearing for a lot of users through the Windows update process. So it's finally been pulled. And Microsoft, if we just head over to their support website, has replaced KB5034441 with this update, KB5042320, which more or less is trying to do the same thing. But the good news is that dreaded update has now been pulled. Now, yeah, are the Windows 10 additions and versions it applies to basically across the board and as mentioned the final video I posted or well, the previous video I posted on KB5034441 was it was only been offered under the following conditions which have not changed okay so go check that video out if you'd like some more information because I kind of was saying in that video that Microsoft was having a kind of a oh dear moment because there's some quite in-depth um, workarounds here that you have to apply or could apply that I don't think your average home user or your average Joe would actually manage. But nonetheless, moving on, that's not the point of today's video. Now, if we have a look at the change log for the new update, it says, move this content from update 5034441, which has been retired. So that update has finally now been um, deprecated and um, removed. Now, what they say here for the summary for KB5034232, which is the new update replacing the previous update, they still say it requires 250 megabytes of free space, which is not correct. You need, a, you need at least 750 to a gig, but nonetheless. And it says, if you would like to make sure your device is offered this update, please follow the instructions to manually resize your partition or use a sample script to increase the size of the WinRE recovery partition. So Microsoft is still expecting you to provide this workaround yourself, although they are offering this update. And if you have followed these instructions um, that they've mentioned in this paragraph, it says that once your partition has sufficient disk space, click start settings, Windows update, check for updates to have the update offered to you and then install it. So the update will only be offered through Windows update um, if you meet these following requirements in this paragraph. And as mentioned, I'll leave this whole support article down below if you'd like some more information. And then they carry on to say at the bottom here, it says the update replaces the previous released update KB5034441, which now means that this update should now be disappearing and trying to reinstall itself um, through Windows Update on your Windows 10 device. And as mentioned, the playlist will be in the end screen, but not much has changed between this now new update uh, replacing 503441. So in true Microsoft fashion, nothing really has changed, just the update itself. But uh, I'm just putting it out there because obviously this was a hot topic of debate and contention, 503441, and I just wanted to keep you guys posted and in the loop. 
But I think the good news is that that dreaded update now has finally been pulled. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.